What's up everyone? Super Phil here from Super Phil's Fortress of Solitude and this video I've got another unboxing for you only this month video is Loot Crate. This is the March Crate. It's themed around Versus which makes sense with Batman vs Superman coming out. I also have one of the level ups. I go with the wearable level up. They have several to choose from now. They have a socks package. They have a wearable package like I've got. They've got a t-shirt package and then a women's accessory. So you can check them out, see which ones you're interested in. They've got bundles that you can put together. They're not super expensive. The wearables and the accessory are $14.99. You can also like I said, do the bundles, the socks, and accessory, I think, together were $20.99, which you save, you know, 4 or $5. Uh, it's a little bit, though, if it's something you're interested in. I don't really care about the socks or the women's accessory. I get the wearable, which isn't always a shirt. Last month's it was, but they've split that up now, too. Also, uh, a man's and women's. Men's and women's. So, I thought that was pretty neat. I was kind of bugged by it at first, since they have a women's accessory and they don't offer a male alternative for that. But it is what it is. The wearable can be anything wearable, as the name implies. I've gotten some Star Wars sleep pants from it. I've also gotten a Space Invaders hoodie. It was pretty neat. Not super thick, obviously, it's 15 bucks. But, you know, it's long sleeves, it's got a hood and drawstrings and the pockets on the front and everything. It was pretty good quality. But I don't like keeping I don't like having a, a super long introduction. You're here to see what's in the box. Oh uh, what's in the box? And I will start off with the core crate. Again versus themed for March. I don't know why I made that noise just now. It's kind of weird talking to you when you can't respond to me. Alright, first thing we got, Alien vs. Predator. It's kind of funny, these, I wouldn't think they're super popular anymore. It's been several years since the Alien vs. Predator movies came out. But, it's still a popular franchise. There's going to be another Alien movie, or another Prometheus movie. I think another Predator movie. So I guess they're still in that. Uh, this is a Loot Crate exclusive item. And we'll get the knife back out. I guess I should just keep it out. And I got a pretty awesome alien vinyl figure. It's pretty cool. It's uh it's actually really good quality. A lot of a lot of etch work, a lot of details in it. You probably won't be able to see it. I don't have an autofocus, but all these are actually etched in. They're not just painted on. Yeah, this stuff out of the way and keep going. We got, looks like a shirt on top, which is Star Trek. It's pretty nice. You got Spock versus Evil Spock, I'm thinking. It's got a lot of detail into it. It's got all the names of the actors on it, created by Gene Roddenberry. It's a pretty neat shirt. I'm sure my buddy Justin will be super jealous about that one if he didn't get this month's crate. We've also got a beanie. Oh, nice. This is a Daredevil, another Loot Crate exclusive. Catch Daredevil Season 2 on Netflix. Season 1 was awesome. Uh, also, The Man Without Fear by Frank Miller. I was never interested in Daredevil. The first movie, well, only movie, just wasn't great. And was not interested in The Man Without Fear at all. But Frank Miller is just really talented. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the inside, it's reversible, we've got the Punisher logo, which also fits in really well with 
the new season two coming out for Daredevil, as it's got uh, John Bernthal, I think, playing the Punisher. We've also got this month's Crate, which features Alien vs. Predator. Got something here for Batman vs. Superman. Looks like it might be a little wallet. It is. So, you got Batman and Superman the, uh, with the poster look on the front. Even the inside has got artwork on it. Feels like there's something in there. Maybe it's just something to stiffen it up. See, we got $5. It's a mighty wallet. Use code LOOTER for $5 off $30 or more. That must be for more Mighty Wallet products. Take the challenge and post it. Mighty Wallet could feature you. Dare to tear. What side are you on with Mighty Wallet? Hashtag Bat versus Alien. I mean, obviously I gotta go with my boy Superman. How can you not? These are neat little wallets. They seem pretty durable. I guess they're recyclable or made from recycled materials. Uh, I get a couple of these from various crates. I've got a, uh, The Simpsons. I got one from The Simpsons. And now I got a Superman one. I'm pretty sure there's another one laying around somewhere. I, I don't use those little wallets. Here we've got a Harley Quinn Loot Crate exclusive issue number one. It says one shot. Maybe it's an all-inclusive. The artwork is pretty interesting on that one. I kind of like the design for the characters on that one. Word Gush, a party game about everything you love. Download for free on mobile. Loot Crate subscribers can unlock free exclusive bonus categories in April. And then in all the boxes, they come with a little catalog to show you everything about the items in it. There's usually interviews, something going on, just neat little articles that they write. We've got... You, when you sign up, you have a chance to win a Mega Crate, and they always show off what kind of neat items you didn't get. <laughs> this one had a 3D printer, I think. It's got an Xbox One featured around the division, a, dare, a huge Daredevil hoodie. I mean, the Mega Crates are pretty amazing. I don't know anybody who's ever got one or even seen it posted online, but I didn't really research it either, so maybe I'm just missing out. I really like the Daredevil Punisher hoodie, and I think that's really cool. I've been looking for a new type of hat item. I've got a one-up boggin somewhere. It's not as this one's a lot deeper though. The other one was a little shorter. And then again, the boxes. The box has little. You get to do stuff with them sometimes and make like a little diorama, I guess. I don't usually do all that. But I know some people do. Some people like them and collect them. i put up my knife before I kill somebody. Alright, so that was the March Loot Crate for Versus. Now we're going to do the Level Up Wearable. And it, I mean, it's got some good weight to it. Last month was just a t-shirt, so we'll see what they did with this month. We're going another t-shirt it looks like. Oh wow. This is a nice little Civil War long sleeve t-shirt. You've got the Captain America shield mixed in with the arc from Iron Man. And it looks like we're going to have 
one of those neat little words that reads different ways the way you hold it. Yep. So this side says Captain America. I don't know how well you can see that. It would help if I held it where you can read it. So it says Captain America this way. And then we'll flip it upside down. And we'll see that your team Iron Man this way. So that's pretty neat. Uh, the movie doesn't come out till May. So the fact that they've already got some loot, pardon the pun, for the Civil War movie is pretty cool. Uh, last month my wearable was a Walking Dead t-shirt and the female wearable was a Deadpool t-shirt. Uh, not just a t-shirt, it was they had some special word for it, I don't know. If it goes on this half of my body, it's a t-shirt. If it goes on this half, it's pants, unless it comes to my knees and they're shorts. So, let's see. We'll see what else they had in the level up. They also, they had socks. They had Mario and Bowser socks. And then Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Hydra socks. When you do the sock level up, you get two pairs of socks. Or... $8.99. Don't quote me on that. Pretty sure it was $8.99. The level up wearable that I got was the Captain America Iron Man t-shirt, which is pretty neat. I like the I like those words. It can be read different ways. The exclusive t-shirt, or the level up t-shirt, was based on Battleship. You sank my Battleship. The level up socks again, you had Mario and Bowser for one set, and then you had uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Hydra on the other. The female accessories are Batman vs. Superman Bestie Necklace set. I guess you could wear Superman while your best friend wears Batman. And then also Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman hair ties. Oh, how well you'll be able to see those. Again, I didn't get these, so I can't really show you better what they got. So that's it. Pretty straightforward. Next month is going to be themed around Quest, featuring items from Kingdom Hearts, Princess Bride, and some other stuff I can't remember now. Um, see if I still got it pulled up on my phone. The Goonies. That should be pretty cool. And then Zelda. And also Star Trek. So there's uh, some pretty cool items there. They also have pictures for their level ups. Whether or not this is supposed to actually be what that level up item is themed around, I don't know. But as far as the wearable goes, it says Princess Bride. The female accessory says Star Trek. The t-shirts should feature... Goonies, and then the socks should be Zelda and Kingdom Hearts. Sock package starts at $9.99, t-shirts $8.99, which is a pretty good price for t-shirts. And then the wearables are, and accessories are $14.99, so it's not outrageous. Like I said, uh, the Space Invaders hoodie was fairly legit. It was kind of thick. Obviously, it wasn't enormously thick but it still had a hood it seemed like it would be really comfortable had the pockets on the front that's all I got for you thanks for coming out Superfill from Superfill's Fortress of Solitude